Oh, I'm Sheila, and I'm a member of United for Change, a grassroots self-advocacy network in Georgia who believes that voting is one way we use our voice to, for change. We are working with self-advocacy on uniting Georgia and influencing change by speaking up and taking control of our lives. This video is for people who are already registered to vote in Georgia and want to request an absentee ballot to vote in the November 3rd election. And any registered voters may vote by absentee ballot this year. As long as you request and submit an absentee ballot application, you can make this request online by going to the website ballotrequest.sosgeorgia.gov. Here you enter your first and last name date of birth, your Georgia driver's license number or identification card number, and county where you live to make your request to receive an absentee ballot mailed to you. You can also request an absentee ballot that you print or either mail, fax, or scan this email to your local county election office by going to the Georgia My Voter page, www.m vp.sos.georgia.gov. Enter your first initial, last name, county where you live, and date of birth. Then find the link that says click here for absentee ballot application. Print it, complete it, and you can mail it, fax it, or scan it, and email it to your county board of registration office or election, local election office. You can hand deliver your complete absentee ballot application to your county election office in person. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is officially October 30th. Please don't wait until the end of October. Request it and complete it now to be sure you're approved to vote within an absentee ballot so that you receive it and have time to return it by election day on November 3rd. After you submit your request for an absentee ballot, you can go to the Georgia My Voter page, www.mvp.sos.georgia.gov and check the, check the status with the link that says, click here for absentee ballot status. Here you will see the election day the date your absentee ballot request was received and the date the absentee ballot was issued. On this same My Voters page website, you can also go to click here for a sample ballot where you can view a ballot like the one you, you'll receive to cast your, your vote. The sample ballot is worth finding and you can print it out. This shows you all the candidates who are running for the different offices, any proposed constitutional amendments, and any other questions that will be on your ballot when you cast your vote. You should look at this and do your research so you so you are sure to vote for candidates who believe in what you believe and want to see in our communities in Georgia and in our country. If you do not receive your absentee ballot after submitting your application and collecting the status online, please contact your registrar office. Once you get your absentee ballot, follow the instructions to complete it so your vote is counted. Be sure to fully bubble in the oval for your choice to make sure it is read by the scanner and counted as a vote. Ballots must be returned by November the 3rd. All local election office will accept mail or hand delivered ballots by the voter. If mailed, you must put a postage on the ballot envelope. The United States Post Office recommends you mail your ballots back no later than a week before the election to give enough time for it to be delivered and received by the deadline. You can also search 
for your county's ballot drop box location and go there to place your ballot in the drop box location. After you return your ballot, you can go back to Georgia My Voters page and click the status with the link that says click here for absentee ballot status. This will show you the date your ballot was received and your vote was counted. If you see it was accepted, congratulations, you voted in your election. If you see it was rejected, please contact your local county board or registrar office for the next steps and any questions you may have. Remember, your voice, your vote, this is your right as a citizen and it is important that you rise up and speak out. From now through election days, voters with disability-related issues can call the Georgia Advocacy Office for assistance. 